my watch Whole time, it's go time Oh, you thought that it was your time? Whole time, you get no time I was with your girl the whole time You was at the crib eating pork rinds You know you is what you eat Whole time, you a whole swine I've been trying to figure out Who the hell really gonna stop us Cause I've been out here kicking messy shit Whole time, I don't like soccer But I'm ballin' like a hella flashy Whole time, that's a globe trotter. Kept the show going as the doors closed The whole time, that's a show stopper I was down a couple months ago But now a nigga doing better Ay. Yeah, old girl cute as hell Whole time, we could've been together She gon' say that she hate me Whole time, writing love letters But she get a whole crew neck So whole time, I don't even sweat her Yeah Six blunts roll, we gon' take him to the face He gettin' off a moon rock, I swear we up and out of space Tried to block us at the door and bet we still gon' find his way Checks the cash like to this bank, make the pots to the chase Spendin' too much time on your timeline, whole time could be FaceTime She be too quick to FaceTime, I ain't really tryin' waste time I just dabble on the baseline, till you feel it in your face And she gon' blow up on my phone like, what can we get below this waistline? Oh man, said she won't fuck with the kid, whole time on the man, goddamn Said she wanna do it again, well make sure it's you and your friend Oh yeah, I got the new style, whole time it ain't free Wavy all in your face, got some shit you can't see Whole time it's John Cena, whole time I got fever I be sick with the flow but I'm cold on the beats Whole time we need Jesus, nigga it's hot on the block and it's cold in the streets Whole time, whole time, we need a gold mine, gold mine None of my best years yet to come, cause when I'm no gloves, no shine Nigga, got damn Ayy, whole time, whole time, whole time, whole time Ayy, whole time, whole time, ayy Six blunts roll, we gon' take him to the face Geekin' off a moon rock, I swear we up and out of space Tried to block us at the door and bet we still gon' find his way Chase the cash like to the bank, make the pots to the chase Ay. Reporting live from Listen Vision Studios, Georgia Avenue, Northwest D.C. It's Beast Rhymes and Life Podcast, episode 17. What's up with it, y'all? Y'all know what it is. Usual suspects in the building. Stack Doe De Niro. Got a guest host in the building that goes by the name of Baby Girl. She's holding it down with us today. So show us some love, y'all. Let's clap it up. Hey, give us some love. Yo, I'm the only one clapping in here. But you know what? That's okay. What's up, baby girl? What's up? I didn't know that the cameras had turned on yet, so y'all have to excuse me how I was, like, looking the mic up and down. We live, yeah. It's okay. We'll get all that on tape, but you know what? It's part of the show, so it's not a problem. Um, Joining me uh, in a little bit will be my co-host, Tangi. I guess she's probably running a little behind. You know what I'm saying? She definitely late. She's tardy, but, uh, you know, we're going to let her slide this time, or maybe, maybe baby girl might give her some grief about that shit but you know we're gonna keep the show rolling um make sure you get with us on social media uh like i say always every week man we definitely on pot on uh facebook so catch us at brl podcast dmv uh, we're also on twitter at brl crew dmv on instagram at beats rhymes life and that's life with a y and make sure you follow us on itunes spotify google play and subscribe to our youtube channel as well Rate, review, and leave us some feedback, too. We love to hear from you. So let us know how you feel, all right? Um, Dang, you have all, you just gave everyone the tools to stalk you perfectly. That, perfectly I want them to stalk, stalk us. Stalk us, perfectly please. Stalk we, you. we want the fans to let, us, to let us know how they feel and let them know that, hey, we're interactive. We all let y'all. We fuck with y'all. So matter of fact, you're not following the page either, so you need to follow I do the follow. Beach Rhymes and Life Instagram oh. page. I, I thought I No, did. no, you don't. I thought I so did. So we're going to have to uh, get you together on that. This is the 16th lie in the past hour. Whatever. I've only been here for, what, 20 minutes, so that's not right. Ooh, he's anyway, telling the truth, 20 minutes. That's right, that's right. Been here for about 20 minutes, and we getting the show on the road. Um, so before we jump into the topics, got a couple of announcements. I have a few, but... You know, ladies first, I'm going to let you rock out any announcements or shout outs that uh, you want to give folks. Uh, the only shout out I have 
really is Free My Brother, YBS Scola. What's up, Shauna? We out here. We still pumping. Um, his album just dropped. Truth on every, it's everywhere. So every just, platform. Type in, just type in Truth, YBS, and it's, it's all there. And you can um, also check out our song together, Scola, 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 featuring Baby Girl, which is moi. Um, but yeah, cop that. Cop that truth album. It's lit. You should see like the he probably dropping about eight videos in the next two months. Okay. While he in jail, which is crazy. Wow. We just snuck all the cameras in there. Hustler. But Hustler. You'll see. That's what's up. Mm. That's what's up. Anything else? Uh, oh, follow me on Instagram at World yeah. of Baby Girls, spelled the regular way, not that B girl G U R L. It's Baby Girl. World <laughs> of Baby Girl. Okay. Okay. Right on. Get it right. And get it my, right. My cell phone number is. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You talking about me having stalkers. You about to have a rack of stalkers coming after you, so you might want to chill. No, it's that. actually on my Instagram. Like, my number is, like, right you there. You have your number on your Instagram? It, they think it's my manager. I just be like, hello. <laughs> yeah. But it's you. It, 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 it rings me. directly to you. Yeah. How about that? So go to my Instagram and check out my phone number. Now, that is being fan interactive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're the fans yeah. can holler at you directly. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta love that. Um, just got word. Uh, homegirl Tangie is actually in traffic. So she's going to be on her way here in a second. But like I said, we're going to hold it down regardless. A um, couple of announcements on my end. Um, shout out to T.I., man. T.I. was in town last night. Uh, yeah. He was rocking out with Backyard at Anthem. Um, saw a couple of videos online. Looked like a... Look like nice. a nice little function there. What? Yeah. That yeah, joint look real nice. I need to go to another backyard party. Yeah, I ain't been to a backyard joint in a minute, man. But, um, you know, they yeah. always do it up. Everything's I, always lit. I've so. seen it always get kicked out of these functions. I don't know. You get kicked out for what? Um, you in there fighting, wrecking? No, it, it I guess. Not only wrecking, you, <laughs> you know You in there what I'm mugging, mugging niggas, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? You need to stop thugging it out. That's probably what it is. I know. Is. That's what it is. See, you know what I'm saying? They not having that, man. Maybe only for the grown and sexy. Right. Grown and sexy now. <laughs> huh? I said it's only for the grown and sexy now. You can't be thugging it out. I know. But that was back in the day, though. That was like a few years ago. Now, you know, I come in there chilling. All right. I probably come in there chilling. Well, I next won't time. I pop it as much. Oh, well, that's good. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, maybe we just want to shove people out the way. And how you handle that? How did I handle that? I shoved back. You, shoved well, back. you see, you see on, I'm better like my grandma. Okay, you know all right. Grandma, hey, look, y'all right. see that right now, fellas. Y'all got got your hands full with this one right here. So, yeah, y'all better watch your ass, man. Watch yourself, man. Oh, no. But, uh, nah, shout out to T.I., man. I, like I said, I didn't uh, attend the event. I was hoping Tangie would be here, man. She's definitely a, a backyard junkie, you mm -hmm. know, like most of us. But she be on them hard, so I wanted to... Definitely get her take. We're going to have to get her take when she get up in here. But, um, yeah, T.I. rocking out with BYB, man. I know he was hitting some of his old joints. You know, probably hit some nice little go-go versions of his songs. I always love when rappers come to D.C. and perform with back and give us that live, sort of live band feel when they rock out with each other, man. I always like to kind of see what a rap. I use that to judge what a rapper's really made of. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I think that unless you can rock out with a live band in the mm -hmm. pocket, and you ain't really voices. no rapper. Yeah, and the voice, know, too. I, yeah. I don't know, like, if they be, like, having auditions or what, but they be picking these amazing voices. Like, I'm a commercial consumer. Like, I don't care what you talk about. Like, what's his name? Big G? Like, his voice is, like, lit. Yeah, he but got one of the best voices in the what? game. What? And them, those squeaky voices, you know what I'm saying? Those two. Those get me, too. I like that. Y'all emotional. I'm sorry. What? Oh, no, nah, I was just... Oh, shit. What's up, people? Okay. Oh, you got some folks checking in on the IG Live. What's up to all the people checking in on IG Live? Uh, also, the people checking in on www.listenvisionlive.com. We definitely be live streaming on that joint each and every Saturday right here at 12 noon. Y'all know what it is. Um, so, yeah, again, big shout out to T.I. for coming through last night, performing with BYB and Anthem. Um, also, Mochella Part 2 went down yesterday. Mm. Uh, at 14th and you, not too far from here. What? HIV just skyrocketed 20% in the city then. What? No. Oh, oh, not that Coachella. Mochella. Mochella. Oh, yes. I was. Mo oh, my. 
I was like, I what the hell? I don't know they want to go to Coachella. Well, it's the Mo. You know, like, what's up, Mo? You know, it's okay. our shit. So, right. So, they right. made they the, changed the name up a little bit. Right. You know, made it a little, put a little DC twist on you. it. Right. Oh, I wanted, I really wanted to go. I tried to. That joint was lit. I seen it was lit yesterday. It was? Yeah. Dang, I missed it. Is there UCB, any more? They, they probably going to be doing it all summer long. That's what I'm thinking, man. But these joints are kind of pop up and prompt to sort of shows. Like, I got an email from... Uh, from longlivegogo.com or yeah. actually they, they sent me a DM on um on IG and they were like please make sure you post the actual flyer so shout out to Long Live Gogo DC man for sh- for you know hitting me up and, and getting the information to me man I posted it on the IG page yesterday but yeah big deal man that joint was well attended as usual you know what I'm saying they always going to draw a, a nice little crowd mm-hmm. right out here off of 14 for you but yeah I think they're going to be continue doing that shit like all summer long as they should you know what i mean we got to show uh some of these gentrifiers hmm. what's really good you know in our city here you know what i mean so um i definitely think they're gonna keep it going so we just gotta you know keep our eyes yeah peeled. but there's nothing wrong you know with other people coming into the community as long as you know they respecting respect the, the culture, culture no and doubt. jump in like no we no should doubt. more so be like hey Okay, you here, then you going to party, right? Right. Okay. Well, when, it, when it wrong, you know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, come on now. Yeah, so I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of those uh, throughout the summer, which is good. Uh, I'm so gonna we'll be, be a, on, I'm going to be there. I'm yeah, we're going to have to show up to, to a couple of them jumps, man. Come show love. and VA drip. Just get out there with the people, man, with the VA drip. Yeah, with the VA drip. <laughs> DMV, you know, the V is in there, so we, yes. can, we can throw the VA, VA uh, drip in that jump. Oh. There's a singer songwriter. Oh yeah, so I I, did, I failed to mention. So yeah, singer songwriter, baby girl yeah. in the building. Um, before I move on to my last announcement, though, what kind of projects are you working on currently? You got anything popping? Anything that we should be on the lookout for? Um, finally decided to like work on my own music. So I, but I'm still mainly writing for other people. Okay. But um, that's like, what a bag is, though. I mean, I just like working with people making good music. Like I okay. don't care. I really don't care. You know, what you're at or where you're at. If I like you and I want to work with you, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I make smashes. Like you know, just <laughs> sit there and be like, just making anything. No, we make hits. We make hits on this. We make side. hits. I the problem that. is, you I know, that, that people don't have the the other backings to you know properly promote those hits so someone just you know some people just have hits sitting in their computer mm, you know mm-hmm, I mean? mm-hmm. not you huh you get them off oh i mean you see what happened with bro like that's what happens when you put the right business you know behind your project no doubt. and the artist understands that they are the product Mm-hmm. So, you know, Skull is a good artist. He listens. He conforms. He knows that it's not just him. It's a group of, it's like a conglomerate. Mm. The whole company. The team. Right. Teamwork make the dream work. Right. Mm-hmm. We got his little young face up there. <laughs> Free my man. Shout out to the boy Skola, man. Definitely look out for that project. Um, one more shout out, and I'm sure that you can appreciate this one here, uh, or maybe you can't. Uh, but shout out to Cardi B. Uh, She just recently won an Urban ASCAP Award for Songwriter of the Year. Big deal. Um, And I say that because she's the first female rapper to ever win that award at the ASCAP Urban Awards. So um, it's kind of a big deal. Shout out to Cardi B. What you think about that? Phone fell down, too. Oh, it did. (laughs) I caught caught that. I caught that. I love Cardi. Um, Okay. I mean, I wish her the most success. Actually, like, you know... She's um, definitely built my confidence up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like no I'm quick to pop it in the mirror real quick now. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Quick to pop it. Little she gave you some inspiration. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, to be, you know, yourself. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that's why people love her so much because, like, her realness, like, she takes our realness to an extreme. She does. She's like us, too. By two us on steroids, yeah. yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but like, she has like a little bit of every woman like in there, like the part of the woman that wants to scream out and be like fun and sexy and likable, like mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. part. Okay, that part. That <laughs> part. <laughs> like, I like that. I like that. No <laughs> doubt, no <laughs> doubt. I, I saw a lot of people giving her flack, saying that she don't even write her stuff. But let's be real, like everybody in the industry collaborates with yes. other writers to write yes, their shit. Period. There's definitely like. 
every artist probably has like at least like three people in the room. See, there you go. Three to like 15. See, that's why I'm glad you're here because you can clear up some of those yeah, industry myths. Three right. to 15, you know, See? people. Like, it's definitely, and everybody wants to be a part of it. So, whether it's like, change, yo, change in to, uh -huh, to what? Uh huh. You know, uh -huh. tell like, them, that's talk my about part it. Right there. You know that, ooh, in the background. Like, oh, and yeah. you get a ghostwriter credit just yeah. for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or a pat on the back. Yeah. Nah, Lots talk of about times it. you get a pat on the back or a, yeah, that was cool, duh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not everybody's smart enough to know what the split sheet is or mm -hmm. whatever it is. You know what? Whenever you're working with any music artist, just say, I want 1%. Just That's tell it. them off the break. Just off the break. I want 1%. You don't care. It don't matter what it what they talk about. Don't just butt in their conversation. If you're a part of it, just be like, I need 1%. That's it. Like, if you don't know what it is, just ask for 1%. Yeah. Do your research later, but make sure you ask for that 1%. Get that 1%. Off the break. Okay. That, that makes sense. Industry tips from World of Baby Girl, uh, singer, songwriter extraordinaire. So make sure y'all do the knowledge on that. Um, but, yeah, big shout out to, to Cardi, man. We're going to talk about her a little bit more uh, later in the show there when we get to the uh, BET Awards breakdown. And we talk about uh, some of the nominees and some of those big categories. So... Um, so yeah, we'll definitely do that. Uh, that's all I got for announcements. Um, oh yeah, matter of fact, I do have a shout out, man. Shout out to my man, my man Tom. Uh, recently lost his father uh, on Father's Day, man. That was definitely a big loss. Uh, Pop Matthews was like a neighborhood father for us, you know. Um, one of the dudes that we would say was in our village, you know what I mean? You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child. He was definitely... Uh, one of the foremost leaders in our village. Um, and, you know, just a great all-around OG. Worked for uh, D.C. Housing Authority for years. Also, uh, was I, I believe he worked on the D.C. police force. And he actually comes from an era when, you know, the police came from your community. You know what I mean? Yeah. They weren't just trying to, you know, roll around and terrorize you and oppress you and all that shit. He actually was of the community and a major member in, in our community and uh, just a big loss. So I just want to Send my, my thoughts and prayers and condolences to yes. the Matthews family. Um, and just want to say rest in power, man. Mm -hmm. Pop Y'all Matthews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that always touches me. Yeah. I'm a big advocate for uh, our community, our culture, no matter what you do. It's yeah. It's sad when stuff like this happens. And it happens all the time. All the time. And there we have it, folks. We are now fully assembled. You can call us Voltron because just as we begin to proceed to give you what you need, Tangelina Jolie steps in the building. So now we got we have full strength right now, y'all. Yeah, we missed you. We did, we did miss you. So we're gonna we're gonna make the introductions right here live on the show. That's how we do. So. My co-host Tangelina just stepped in the building. Tangy, this is Baby Girl. You know about Baby Girl. Baby Girl, my co-host Tangy. I forgot the camera lean right there. I'm just like, hey. We're going to get it. Yeah, that's, yeah, don't let that Jones shake you, though. Don't let it shake you. Um, I, I'm glad you made it here, Tangy. I wanted to ask you something. Yes. Um, we were talking about Mochella Part 2. Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably really like Part Four or five now, actually. <laughs> well, they, they why do they call it part two then? And they y'all must be lying too. I'm not sure. This. Yeah, I see. Well, I seen shit going around yesterday. Mochella part two, 14th. Is it a bunch of people putting this? Is this a movement? I think so at first it was. It? I don't think so. No, I think they're designated people. I know yesterday's move was from Long Live Go Go DC. Oh, okay. Okay. Because the they hit they hit me up. I was saying they hit me up. It was like, look, post this flyer. This is the real flyer oh, and shit. Okay. Okay. Because the last so one, I, they were like, this is the last one. We about to do this every year. I it's think it's like, like different day. groups that are organizing that shit, ain't it? It doesn't seem like it because I the, always see the same, same people, people, like the same faces. So it is the same group then. Seems like it. Who? What's the name of the group? You know, you know who they are. I don't think it's a group. I think one person. Oh, it's just one kind person. Kind of spearheaded most of it, and then he collabed with other people, like Long Live Go Go, and yeah, um, and I guess a couple of the other sponsors. Now the radio stations are involved and. We gonna have to find out who that one man is. I think his name is Yadi. I Yadi. Guess need to hit the streets, man. Yeah, we gonna hit the streets. Yeah. Need to hit the streets on y'all next show, seeing who. who uh, we gonna send you out on the street. Yeah. You are gonna be our street team, our one woman street team. Get you out there, because if we find out who that is, we gotta have him on the show. 
We got to get him up I, here. I follow him on, on Twitter, I believe. All right, we're going we to get that straight. We gonna yada, get, yada. Yada, 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 I was about to say, that better be his name. <laughs> That's how it's spelled I'm just spelled goofy on. like that. That's okay, how it's okay, spelled. Okay, okay. So, like, yada, yada, look, I ain't, fu- hey, look, I'm just goofy like that, brother. It's all good. You know, we, 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 it's all love. Ain't nothing but love. <laughs> but, uh, nah, we, we need to holler at him and, uh, try to get him on the joint, man. That'd be a good look. That'd be a good look. Um, all right, well, let's jump into the topics. Do you have any announcements or shout outs? No, not Tangy, today. No shout outs? Yeah. You come on, you got at least one shout out. You ain't got no shout out? Mom. Mom, mm-hmm. dad. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> um <laughs> let, It was a weird week, so I don't know. Yeah, it's been weird. Well, how was it weird? It started bad and didn't how it got did worse, the, right? Not really got worse, but it was like I got some, I, I heard bad news every day this oh, week. Oh, okay. So it's like, ooh. Let's start over. They throwing bad juju on the black community. Something yeah, happened. Yeah, you, you know up. what? I can I can agree with that because like I was just saying, you know, rest in peace to my man, uh, father that passed away. He passed away on Father's Day. Like I was wow. in the house chilling. Yeah. Actually, I was taking a nap, man. I got a text message, man. Yeah, you know, Pop Matthews died. I was like, what? So yeah, I, I feel you on that. Kind of set, set the week off on a, you know, jolly like sour note, but mm-hmm. you know. It's a beautiful day here, beautiful Saturday. It's good to be here, you know yes, what I'm saying? I'm so glad it's not raining. Yeah, man. It's we got to break off that shit. It was raining all damn week. I can get a tan. Like it was last year. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, this lightning is fooling y'all. Like, this is probably me in the wintertime. Oh, know. shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm like chocolate out here. Yeah, you got to get that sun. Tangy you know about Tangy be out there getting I'm that sun. Trying. What? She, she is still yellow. I know. <laughs> she needs I know. a little more work. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, because I spend a lot of time in my office building. Just uh, The most sun I get is being in my car. Okay. okay. So yeah, I drive the, the everywhere. Arm, got the arm tan. I was about to say, got the arm tan. <laughs> the I back was, of the arm, the side mm-hmm. of the arm tan. Yeah, exactly. I to Florida, and I was like, dog, why y'all let me put my arm in the sun? I'm left my arm dark. Other side, I'll be light as a mug. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> exactly. All right. Okay, so now let's jump into you know, topics and shit. Let's see. Um, all right, let's get the serious stuff out the way first. You know, I like to talk talk about that serious shit, get that out of the way, that we can have fun later. But this fucking story right here has to be addressed. Excuse my language, but she, she knows by now. So, um, First congressional hearing on reparations went down this past week. Uh, the House Judiciary Subcommittee on the Constitution, Civil Rights, and Civil Liberties held a hearing on Capitol Hill on Wednesday to talk about the legacy of the transatlantic slave trade, its continuing impact on the community, and the path toward restorative justice. Um, Senator Cory Booker uh, was at that hearing. He spoke. Uh, Writer Tanishi Coates, uh, actor Danny Glover also testified before the House panel. Um, And during the hearing, of course, they talked about H.R. 40, which is the legislation that would establish and this is all it does. This is not actually paying out the reparations yet. But all this committee does is going to be a commission to study the consequences and impact of slavery and make rec- recommendations on uh, what type of reparations proposals will be accepted. Um, before I get y'all thoughts about this, I just want to talk about a comment that was made from everybody's favorite majority house leader, Mitch, as I like to call him, Bitch McConnell, uh, representing uh, Kentucky. So he caused an uproar with uh, some of the comments that he made. Uh, in particular, he said that reparations aren't a good idea. Right. And he said no one alive is liable <laughs> for reparations. So I'm going put to put a pin in that, John, right there. What are y'all thoughts about reparations in general and what... Senator Bitch McConnell said this past week. Oh, we can cuss? He said... Fuck yeah, we can cuss. He said bitch. <laughs> Gosh damn it, we can cuss. That's right, so... Awesome. Fuck it, let's check. Tanji, you look like you, you're getting ready to... Go up. What happened? Go in, right. No, because I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Mm. Because why should they have to pay... These are, like, privileged people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So they're... 
they don't even know what it's like to not have anything passed down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Their culture, their heritage, and everything else. So um, for them, it makes absolutely no sense because whoever was responsible for bringing the slaves over here or turning um, Africans into slaves, uh, they're dead. <laughs> and they feel like for some, you know, <laughs> they, so. they feel like they've feel already like paid the price for for this sin, you know what I'm saying? That's how they look at it. Yeah. Which I'm like, nah, because I'm we're, like, nah, we're too. Still, what price we talking about? Right. <laughs> it's gonna take generations and generations and generations and generations to like to like like make it. You know, time heals all. You know what I'm saying? But it was what my grandmother's grandmother was a slave. So we're talking about mm -hmm. less than 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they act like it was like a long time Wasn't ago. Wasn't that long ago. I can ago, see if really. it was like a thousand years ago. Like, dog, we had Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we be cooling. Like, <laughs> right, right, we don't right. be like, I'm Egyptian. Give me money. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? <laughs> like, but it was like less That's than 200 shit. years ago. It's yeah. like. Right, like I could be. And we're not even talking about Jim Crow. What about Jim Crow and shit too? That was exactly. Even, that was even a shorter amount of time, you yeah. know. That I don't even know what I'm trying to say. My that was even was a shorter in, period of that time. That was in my that. mother's lifetime. Exactly. If we wanted sixties, we should yep. just start an uproar with the, you know, the black community. I just figured out how to do it. Nobody like when you talk about their grandmother, and we they talk about <laughs> our great great yep. great grandmother. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Dog them. You know what I'm saying? Dog them. I, you I say agree. about my grandma? You said she don't, she don't need no money. What? Nah, we need, hey, look, we need all that shit. We need our chips with the dip. But he yeah. was like, did you see you know what I'm saying? He was like, you didn't get a, uh, we gave you a black president. Yeah, that was I the said, other comment I had a problem with. Because it's almost like, all right, y'all had a black president. Y'all y'all be all right. That's enough for y'all. No, but he, <laughs> it was like he be good. on themselves. He yeah. was like, it was like he separated, like, when he's like, we gave you, mm -hmm. like, to you. Mm -hmm. So who are you? What team are you on? I thought we was on the same. Well, we clearly yeah. see what team. But the thing about that is, it's like, you know, I think that sheds light on a, a, a overall mentality that white people have. You know what I'm saying? What they I'm all saying. kind of feel, it's not just the entitlement and the privilege. It's this feeling that, okay, that shit's over with. Like, get over it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was so long ago. Your, your parents weren't alive or whoever, but. Dog, like Nick was, or Baby Girl was just saying, you know, this goes back to our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, our great, you know, that's not that far removed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And on top of that, it's like, have we heard of residual effects? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that, that exists. You like know, you, had a head you can't, start. you can't oppress and enslave people and, and use them for free labor for two, three hundred years. Then have Jim Crow segregation where you have laws made up right. to exclude them from every major industry or system out here, and then say, I right, will. Y'all be I just get over it. Right. No, we're still suffering from those yeah, things exactly. as a community. We're, in, we're still in, if we look at life as like a rat race, you know what I'm saying? And say we all, white people, black people, are in this rat race and it's like, okay, we're going to give the white people a million dollars. You know, Britain gave the white people the money. So you mm -hmm. start your lives. And now that we're at like this halfway point and we all still can see the finish line mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, we... You don't need to give you no money. I'm like, hello, we still in the race. I don't care if we halfway. We'll take the money still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt. Well, the Just thing about it is, the beginning don't mean we don't want it now. And that, that's what, the thing. What time frame we're in? We were we were supposed to get our forty acres we're in the mule. We're still playing right. the same game. Didn't we're get in that. the same contract. Are we not in the stiff? Like we are part of the same contract from the United States, right? We need to go. Somebody, Supposedly, we need to pull out that contract. Let's go for get the him. States, go, let's go get him. Good God. Let's go holler. But I, I think with this administration now, we ain't going to see nothing. The forty. We come should come out at least get our forty acres in the mule. Where's that contract? Now? Well, you know, they're going to say it's not enough space to give us that. What are they going to do? What they going to do? What they did to the Na Native Americans? Make they're reservations. Put us on the plantation. And yeah, it, and see, they already know we're not going for that. Right. Yes, like, we will. Right. We'll grow our weed. And we will take over. I, I, ain't, no but, uh, you know ain't no more room for us, I, though. I, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> think the majority of, of black people are willing to leave their the comfort, especially if you live in this area, right. to move Midwest to Wyoming or somewhere where it's space. And like, well, you all can let's just out Let's here. just say, okay, they're not going to give us the land. We don't, I mean, unless we go back to Africa and start our own shit, you know, our own colony and country over there. That would be nice. Uh, that may work, but here in America, it's not going to work. I mean, we, let's talk about some of the ways that reparations could work. I mean, uh, uh, aside from just cutting the check, I mean, what are some other things that you think they could do? Like, you know, make, give, allow us to go to college for free or, mm -hmm. 
you know. That would be good. You know, relieving relieving us relieving us of having to pay taxes. Period. Like, but but you I know mean what? that would be They're nice. They're not going to take a, give us college for free. That's just not going to happen. Like Mm-mm. they understand books are our most prized possession. Knowledge like, is power. Knowledge yeah. is power. They yeah, know no that. Doubt. Hell no, no, they not about to give us books. Yeah. I think before we get real about this conversation, we definitely need to map out like what we want. Like, I I don't think that we should leave it to the government to just say, hey, this is what y'all get. You know, whether it's cutting a check or whatever. I don't think we want to leave it in their hands. They they've done enough. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think at this point now, let's let's, you know, kind of come together nationwide as a black community and let's decide, you know, what, what do reparations look like? What are some of the things that will help close that economic gap? And helps you know help get us on level playing field because I mean that's really what it's all about. Right. I seen some jokers online talking about oh you know here here they go looking for a fucking handout. Well you know <laughs> this ain't no fucking handout. This is paying back what you owe mm-hmm. from what you stole. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's far from a fucking handout. This is just like I said. This is simply like Pac said. Yeah. <laughs> give give us what you owe. You know what I mean? That's and that's it. real shit. And that's money. I mean if we look at all the corporations that were started and benefited off mm-hmm. of slave money. I mean, we're talking a lot of these banks, for one. Mm-hmm. Citibank, I can name. Wells Fargo is another yeah. one. You know, the Lehman Brothers Investment Corporation. All of their proceeds were coming from slave, you know, from the money from slaves. And that's Woo! why we need to see that the table. Not for Virginia. Like, so that's what... Um, no, that shit know, is deep in Virginia. We just, it's just, we got bloody shoes. Oh, bloody, yeah. bloody ass shoes. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's blood all in the soil in Virginia, but hit, but shit in Maryland too. You know what I mean? Yep. When I went to that African American uh, Museum of History, I didn't know how much, I guess, slave history existed in Maryland, like right in PG okay. County, Upper Marlboro. Like I was like, damn, Upper Marlboro, though. You know what I mean? But it's it's deep, man. But you know, I mean, somebody already figured it out. It's like we figured, like they think giving money is a problem. I mean, I get money is a problem when it leads to arguments, but I'm like, somebody figured out the al- algorithm to how to make black people happy. It's mm-hmm. just they can't give us the chance to surpass them. If they gave mm-hmm. us, their, if they agreed to give the black people the same tools that they gave their people, they're going to, yeah. That's a scary thing. No one at the top wants to be beaten. Yeah. So nope. they're, they're going to protect it. So we, you know, but is it that bad? I mean, is it is it so bad to have the shit level? I mean, are you are you that privileged? Are you so used to the supremacy and the privilege that you can't stand to see us on level playing field? It's not even like we're gonna get some sort of advantage. We just talking about let's just get caught up for everything that we've been that's been taken from us. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's probably because we're too enlightened. Mm-hmm. That makes me that's like, the alternative. That's like, shit deep. No, like we're so enlightened that they're scared to give us the money because it's probably not like it was back in the day where they really thought we were stupid. They're like, oh, snap. If we get them this stuff, they won't get there. You know what I mean? If they thought we were stupid and just be like, go on drugs and right, stuff like right. that. I mean, Well, they tried people, that. They tried that. It people still work. pop a person and all that stuff, yeah. but it's more so their people on drugs now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's just mm-hmm. like, it's and people don't even know that. Like, these, these like, it's funny. Do you yeah, they, a, a, mo- a lot of them, you know, a lot of white folks, yeah, they use more drugs and get Arrested less often, right. yes. but they don't show that though. They don't right. show the, that the news is not in the suburbs. Not at the all. The news is yeah. in the city. Like I just saw a story on, on Instagram yesterday about like thirteen or fourteen white ladies that were running a uh, welfare scam. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw. That it was like the them. biggest welfare scam mm-hmm. in New York State history. See, someone each got, every one of them was, was white. Yeah. Every yeah. one of them was white. Yep. They had I'm all their mugs. That ain't on the news, but let that be a black person or of let that be one or two black people. Oh, they lazy. Told you they run, tell, yeah. they're trying to run scams on the government, this, that, and the third. You don't hear nothing about this joint, though. You know, and, and that's really what it comes down to. It's just fair and equal justice. Mm-hmm. Being on fair and equal, on a fair and equal level playing field. That's all yeah. it's about. And it's about paying back what they owe. I mean, this country was pretty much built on the backs of free slave labor, and we have nothing to show for it. Well, all mm-hmm. the money is, at this point, is taken. Like, all the money, we, we making up money at this point. You know, they've been adding money. So all this money is taken. So all the big families are t- have the money. So they're like, so we, you want us to give, what, 20%? Like, if we give it to the black people, that means all the big dogs will have to give 20% of whatever they own to. And, and we know they don't want to do that. 
Right. No, but but we we have to keep being vocal about. It. I mean, I, I like the fact that this is the first time in years that this conversation has been like so out there. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody's really. I mean, we've talked about it, you know, amongst ourselves in the community. But as far as the shit being like on a national stage, getting coverage, like the conversation, and I, I gotta this thank the Breakfast to Club for that shit too. Charlemagne pushing it. Because it's the that time shit, to push. Man. This would be the time to push. Only every presidential candidate that's come on there, I ain't gonna cut you off, but just to push. say, you know, every presidential presidential candidate that's come on their show and then they've interviewed, they've asked that question, they've mm -hmm. posed that question. How do you feel about reparations? So yeah. it they're putting it out there. Like I love that. I love the fact that they're putting that shit out there. Because if we don't do like push with it now, it's gonna be like. Hey, we already did that topic. Yeah, Why? Yep. Don't they gonna no gloss more. right over it. Just like don't bring else. No more. We talked about it. Remember? Remember? No. Nah, we gotta keep fighting push. for this. Yeah, we gotta definitely keep fighting for this shit, y'all. Um, what we gotta do? Get every black person to sign in the United States? I was thinking, let's do a survey or something. Just send a survey, make what a survey. Mean? We just need to make an app. We're gonna make an app specifically I don't know because you know, it's, you know it's gonna be complicated. It is. It's gonna be the, well, I it, it go back to the, if you have a tenth of, Black blood yeah, in you, yeah, you're, yeah. you're black, or because the actually the census is just updating like in our lifetime, right? Where it has like a black or African American option yes, before, that's like true. if you were mixed, they still had mongoloid as well, an option. Mulatto, I seen mulatto um, too, like uh, all these like um kind of borderline re racist terms. Mm -hmm. And we're the only, you know, we're the only country that's racist, yeah, like not I'm talking about well, like uh, on paper. Like, on when paper, you right. go somewhere mm -hmm. else, like to mm -hmm. China mm -hmm. or whatever, it just isn't American. It doesn't, it doesn't say African American or white American mm -hmm. or nothing like that. It's just American. Where and when you leave the country and you have to fill out your, you know, visa and all mm -hmm. that stuff, like it's just American. They don't care. You're American to them. Mm -hmm. Like they don't see white, mm -hmm. black, and color and stuff like that. We break it down like that. That's damn. just us. That's a damn That's shame. That's just us. It's just like. That's a damn shame. <laughs> That's this country. Um, I, don't, I lost my train of thought, but yeah, so <laughs> it happens. Yeah, it happens. I know. It's, um, it's crazy that we, we, how crazy this United States is. It's just like Monopoly. It is. You just roll the dice. Oh, damn, I It makes me no sad, chance. Joe. Yeah, it's it's like, fun. damn, we still here, though. We still at this point, man. I don't know, but listen, I, I, I do, I don't want to get too tied up. We got a bunch of other shit to talk oh, about. Yeah. But um, I think this is a great topic. It's a great conversation to have, man. Keep that shit going, and, and let's keep fighting for it. I mean, oh, uh, I know what I was going to tell y'all. Do you know the hashtag for that? To, what is it? That they're doing for? I have to find out. I have it, to find out. Is it I don't black know, reparations? I don't know if there is one. <laughs> I haven't hey, seen one. That's really long. You know let's, we, we can start one. We should. Yeah. We can fucking start one. But I was going to say it was something funny for y'all. Like, I probably won't even get no reparations, though, because my fucking family's from Trinidad. <laughs> so oh, the whole mm. shit is different. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a first generation American. Okay. So like, everybody in my family from Trinidad. Oh, yeah, so but we have know. slavery, though. I mean, because my great great grandfather was white. We, well, we'll, talk, what? well, we'll <laughs> talk. We can talk. Oh, what you say, Tangy? No, you definitely did have slavery in the yeah, Oh, yeah, in it, was, it was hardcore in the yeah. West Indies, too. It started in the West Indies. That's mm -hmm. where they learned how to break them down, and that's where the whole... Uh, the slavery was going on everywhere. Spaniards were taking over my country in the Philippines. Like, no, but... I'm like, mm -hmm. No, that's true. That's definitely like, true. Everybody was getting But the, the, the plantation stories. system that they used here, they started in the West Indies. That's where they got it from. So, but over there, the crops, you know, sugar cane and all that old stuff like that, it wasn't cotton but my great grand great great grandfather so my grandmother's father was straight white dude from scotland so i wow. i don't know if they're gonna break us off <laughs> i don't know if they did that they in that. i mean i can't mm. get it from over here it would have to come from some situation over there but that's what i'm saying i, I wouldn't even get broken off though wow it's kind of suck that kind of suck right <laughs> but we ain't getting no money either so. all right well we all the same boat. all right fuck. I well I, I, I don't know I, 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 my people are from america yeah. so you might you might have some money coming your way or something man but they they must have been part of the great migration they they started up down south and then migrated up up here mm -hmm. so. i did my uh ancestry dna I'm scared to do that shit. I just don't want to put my DNA out there like that. But see, I looked at it like that, and I figured the United States already has it. In some, in some <laughs> they, form, they, yeah. They do. Like, so, like, and if they don't have our DNA, they have some form of our genetic code. And right. I think they get it, like, at birth. 
like you know, Do like when they shots, take the no, when stuff. they take our when when they take our placenta. Uh, we don't know what they do with it. They tell us that they dispose of it. it. Uh, Organ harvesting. That's a that's a business on the black market. Organ absolutely. harvesting. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. So I can see that. So my stuff is messed up, so don't <laughs> I wasn't worried, but I had to cause you know, cause I'm so light. I had to find, had to out. find out. Like cause I'm like Before something's you know. something's not right. But no, I'm like eighty two percent. African. Wow. Where, where, what tribe or what country do you? Um, does your ancestors they're from like the from? Uh, the Cameroon, okay. Congo, okay. Uh, Benai or Benin. 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 Do you tell them Benin, that you're yeah. black when you sign up? Do you tell them? Do they make you fill out a survey uh, first? I can't remember. They do ask you questions, but I can't remember if they ask you if you're black. First, because I ain't, I ain't telling. Because <laughs> they be like, "Oh, you, you are." But I do have some. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. like, oh, y'all like. Fuck your whole world. I was up. shocked because, like, um, I grew up learning that certain members of our family were Native American. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have no percentage of Native American. Dang. So someone just all. hit that. I guess so. Somebody like yeah, that. and Somebody look, cause hit. I would tell, I would tell hit people that. hit that, seated it up. That was yeah. it. I would it tell like, people all the time. He was the daddy. Exactly. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm like, like, go get my boat. <laughs> Who not the daddy? <laughs> said, go get the boat, not the boat though. <laughs> not the boat arrow Who though. Not the daddy? Oh shit, you crazy. Man. My hair gives it away all the time. Okay. Like, I, this hair is African. <laughs> <laughs> like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing Irish, cause you know, cause I have freckles, and they're like, "Oh, you gotta be mixed with Irish." No, I didn't have much Irish I know, in me either. With freckles. Yeah, that's what yeah. I tried a to tell someone. I was Africans like, "It's freckles. actually uh, um, related to the sun, mm. Mm. so it's not okay. really an Irish trait. It's, it's really an African, African trait." Girl, preach. Don't, Don't everything about start themselves. there anyway? I'm, I'm Don't everything start there anyway? <sighs> All right, look, Let's look. check all the Irish people. That's probably yeah, uh, the black coming out mm, of them. Mm -hmm. Somebody from Africa came there. And <laughs> That's that. why the Europeans don't like them, because they know. they like, they a little bit too black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's jump on this uh, Jay-Z shit, man, uh, uh, with the couple from Family Dollar. Y'all yeah. see that video yet? Yep. I didn't see the video. Okay, definitely a disturbing video. I'd be angry. Yeah, yeah. I, well, that's probably a yeah. good idea that you didn't, but um, yeah, it was very Can't disturbing, no man. Um, so just to give y'all a little background on that, uh, last month, 22-year-old Drayvon Ames, his six-month pregnant uh, fiance, Aisha Harper, and their two daughters, ages one and four, had guns drawn on them by Phoenix Police Department responding to an alleged shoplifting incident at Family Dollar. Um, the video basically shows police uh, telling Ames, I'm going to put a fucking cap in your fucking head, uh, you're going to fucking get shot among screaming other obscenities while kicking his knees and forcing his face into the asphalt. Um, it also shows another officer using threatening language towards Harper, his fiance, as she was holding their one-year-old baby girl in her hands. Uh, the police officer can be heard yelling uh, for her to put the child down, although the young mother repeatedly told him that her baby was not able to walk yet. So uh, as it stands now, uh, the family is planning to uh, file a lawsuit with the city of Phoenix for $10 million. Uh, and mm -hmm. Team Rockefeller, uh, Jay-Z's philanthropic leg of Rock Nation, uh, wants to help out. So basically, um, they hired the high-powered attorney, uh, Alex Spiro, who got 21 Savage out of jail, um, to take the case. So basically, um, the family's also being represented by the attorney general out in Arizona, Tom Horn. Um, and they're waiting to see what the city does. They sent a formal letter to him. Uh, describing the lawsuit, um, and if they don't respond with something in 60 days, they're gonna go ahead and file the lawsuit. So, um, so yeah, again, Jay Z to the rescue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good. Well, somebody, somebody. That shit is crazy, man. Yeah. I really wish that um, more stories like this and other stories um, get the same support. Yeah. Because it's um, we don't have nobody in our communities that will take care of us like that. And then so. we don't be having time to come. We don't be having time. Yeah. yeah. Like, we already, the time or the we money, already for real. chasing and chasing and chasing. Yes. And cheese, yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you want me to take time out? I to gotta, file a lawsuit. To, I don't even be having it's time like to call the police. Shit. I got to <laughs> yeah, wait. Why people, like, we don't have time for that. Yeah, right. we got to get on the ground. You want me to wait two hours? Yep. But, like, yeah. the restaurant did something to me. I was like, I wait two hours for the police to get here? Yeah. Two hours? I got to get to work. You know what I mean? I got to go get this bag right here. Yeah, so... 
man, it's such a blessing to have somebody like Jay Z in the game, man. I mean, I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I used to talk a lot of trash about Jay, about how he didn't do a, enough for the community that I thought or that I thought I knew about or thought I saw but didn't see. Apparently, man, he's been doing stuff for a long time, and mm -hmm. only now. Uh, his efforts are being publicized and he wants, I mean before I think he didn't really want him publicized that yeah. much but now um, just with the climate of the, of the country and stuff like that that's been popping off with black folks, you know, he's stepping out to the forefront, man. That's and, because we're, you know, we're stronger now. Yeah, like absolutely. Like we are you know, black people that were in his type of power before like they were scared. They, yeah, they were yeah. scared. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't. They didn't want to lose those right, endorsements, right. And those sponsors. Or the yeah. as mm -hmm. far as they got is like how, like we we're just seeing we're blessed to see millionaires and black billionaires. You know what I'm saying? Yep, in absolutely. Our time. And they they're like the first ones to be like you know what I mean? Yep. Our American black American millionaires. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some and then they did it very through like proud. music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Something yep. fun. So it's like I gotta make sure be, I mean, before I put myself out there and let me protect this now. Yeah. No so doubt. I mean no doubt. Now we're like stronger. They're more confident because they know we're not to be played with. You yep. know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And they're scared of that. I mean, they're scared of people like Jay Z coming to our defense. I mean, look at what he did for for Meek Mill. Look at how, mm -hmm. how much he supported Meek Mill. Uh, in addition to Robert Kraft and you know the other the owner of the 76ers or whatever, they were definitely in this corner. And you and you need you need allies. You need white allies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of great white people out there. I, come on, you know what I'm saying? But Let's look, be for real. I don't think they're the right afraid people. of Jay Z. Because you don't need the white people. You need if, the right people. If they were <laughs> like afraid that. of That's him, true. we wouldn't we wouldn't know of him in this way. Because mm -hmm. they'll be trying to manipulate the media. These mm -hmm. stories wouldn't get out. Like you, they probably censor his name on social media. Cause they would try. They, they do they that. Try, yeah. But Jay Z uh, money too long. No, his reach is too far. His money too long. But I don't think that he's the it. It would have to be. I don't know who it would have to be. But for some reason, and I'm guessing because maybe he's a music artist. Mm -hmm. They don't take him. They they don't see him as a threat, mm -hmm. because they've allowed him to get this far. Mm -hmm. They don't allow the people who they're afraid of to get this far. This is true. They're this gonna true. figure out a way to sabotage you or kill you. Mm. So for him to get this far, cause look at it, Diddy is somebody else. Right. Dr. Dre, they all were on the same Forbes list. Right, right. But who do you hear about the most? Hope. In terms of the philo philanthropic side. Hope, hope. definitely hope. So. I, I just think that he's he's got all his ducks in a row. He, he's so calculated and he's got such a strong insulated team Man, I, I just don't think they can touch right. him yeah 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 well, and that too yes <laughs> his wife yes. got him right got a girl yeah. power moment going now you know what, what? I mean? His wife got him right. But Jay, listen, Jay is too, he too powerful, man, at this point. His money is too long. I mean. And he, that's the thing. When they realize his, his power. His power went times 10 when he got with his woman. Yes, absolutely. That's true. It, that's it, true. It, 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 like, platinum. He that's had, true. like, it was like, all you go. And then now it's like, oh, y'all, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, I, I agree, man. But. They're um, the perfect example of if you They make wanna, a good team. Right. Yeah, what does really it say? If you want to go alone. Mega couple. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Mm. Like that. Yeah, like that. so that's probably why. So we're going to see what happens. I'm sure uh, with Jay-Z uh, taking on this case or Jay-Z's uh, legal team taking on this case, I'm sure that uh, some justice will get served. So let's, you know, keep an eye out, see what happens. I mean, we'll, we'll probably be revisiting this on the show again, you know, as, uh, as everything right. develops and works out. So we'll see. Um, before we run out of time real quick, I definitely want to talk about um, the XXL 20, 2019 freshman class cover, man, because we got a few representatives mm -hmm. on that joint Yay. from the from the turf. You know what I'm saying? From Merlin. From Merlin. Yeah. Specifically Largo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, Lord. Rico Nasty. <laughs> Shout out to Rico Nasty representing that Largo, baby. You yeah. know what I mean? You know how we do Largo. Yeah. Oh but, God. <laughs> but, uh, As I was say, Wale sold cell phones in Largo as Sprint. <laughs> He oh, did. Wow. He start, that's how he started out? <laughs> he sold me a phone. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he Wale spent a little time. I don't think he's from Largo, but he lived in Largo for a little bit. Yeah. He yeah, I think he lived in Lake Arbor for a little bit. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, people be like, yeah. Or maybe Landover. Landover, something, one of the two. Yeah, yeah something and like I, that. Oh, Wale, I don't say that like, oh, you had, you know, 
you work at Sprint. <laughs> I said, like, Psh, boy, you was a black man with a job. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, nigga, you done came up, though, so it's all good. You but, still uh, got a job. Just a better <laughs> job. Even you better still one. the same right. man. Right, right, right. Now, let's run through uh, some of the folks on here real quick, man. So on this list this year, uh, in addition to some homegrown talent, man, I think everybody on this list had a fucking bomb year. Mm -hmm. This this was one of their better uh, freshman class covers, I think. Um, oh, yeah. But I think but I didn't because they picked them. people who were hot already. Yeah. Like... These aren't just new. These are these are people who like they're already like yeah. in a good charting position. True. And have True. been for a couple years now. I so agree. the fact well, that let's look at these look at look at these some of these Miami's. So I mean, this guy for one, I ain't really heard of him from East St. Louis, uh, Comethazine. Uh, we've got Philly's Tara Wax. She's dope. I fuck <laughs> with her. Uh, from North Carolina, the baby mm -hmm. had like having that. a great year. You know, I fuck with the baby. Uh, from yeah. Seattle, we got Lil Mosey. Um, Compton's Roddy Rich. But I fuck with. Like, I love Roddy. Oh, Rich. I didn't know he was from Compton. I, like I didn't either. I didn't either. What's up? I was like, the, when I saw the baby, what happened, little baby? Uh, the little baby it's is not, not on baby. this list, so and they picked the baby over little baby. They picked the baby <laughs> over little baby. The gunner on the joint, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Representing ATL, he had a bang, he had a slamming year, man. He had a real good year. I liked his album. Uh, but Roddy Rich, man, fuck with Roddy Rich. That motherfucking die young. I still bump that joint. I fucks with that. That's a hot song. Yeah, that's, that's a real hot joint. Uh, representing Suitland, Maryland, we got YBN Corday. That him? boy is fucking dope. I love him, man. He is fucking dope. dope. I like. Him. I love his new joint with uh, with, the with Chance. Face, uh, yeah, sample, with the Scarface yeah. sample, I Bad Idea. idea. <laughs> this is the name of the song with Chance, man. YBN is is like a young J Cole to me. He got bars upon bars upon bars. Like, that boy be spitting. Um, so shout out to YBN Corday. Uh, representing Jacksonville, Florida, y, uh, YK Osiris. Uh, as I mentioned, from Lago, Maryland, Rico Nasty. Love her. She's a fucking, she's just wild. I just love her energy, man. Yeah. She's crazy as shit. Um, it's nice to see a nice young lady. Like, yeah, on, like on her type alive. of vibe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she's a... I feel like she's a good representation of the younger, the youngest generation mm -hmm. coming into music because she's like, she's being wild, but she's also being a boss. Yep. Yeah. It's like, yep. yeah, you can't, you can't be wild and not be a boss. Not like, be a boss. Be Damn, right. Be boss Damn right. Damn right. Um, and just to name a few others, of course, like DZ mentioned, ATL's gonna made the list for the XL, double XL 2019 freshman class cover. Representing H Town, Meg the Stallion, she's had a big year. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is clickbait. That's what I was just about to say. I, I double mean, XL on that clickbait. <laughs> well, they did go with the hottest artists, of course, outright. They, I don't now. think they went with all the hottest artists that just, like, the freshmen. Like, it's supposed no. to be people that just came out. Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to be... Comethazine, we don't know who that is. I'm, I'm yeah. about to go check him out after we get out of here, because I ain't never heard nothing from him. Moons uh, thinks that they should have put Juice World on the cover, on the list. Uh, Juice World, yeah. I think, was probably more last year. What he about Low Skies? But nope. he came out with a with a Lil joint Skies, this year, didn't like, he? He's not up there. Last like, person on Skies, the joint is Blueface. Lil Skies, he made that cover before, right? Was it last year? He might have made last year. Either last year or 2017. Yeah, it might have been last year. Same with uh with Juice World. Oh, he made a cover oh, yeah, already. Shout out to Skies. Females. No he doubt. So uh, yeah, man, much love and shout out going out to uh, the, the DMV representatives. Like I said, YBN Corday and Rico Nasty for making the Double yeah. XL 2019. Freshman class cover. Also, before we get out of here, they, man. They need do, does, I don't know, but I know Rico Nasty. But what about dude? Like, dude, are Bobby they showing in? in their videos? Are they showing like representing the DMV? Um, because well, I didn't think Rico in her videos that much was really like showing. Nah, she DMV. just wild. She's crazy Not artistic, really, but she just speaks but, on PG County all the time. Okay, that's, and what, in, in that's her the flow, only reason she got a why real, I know where she's from. She got like a she DMV flow it. too, though. You know what I'm but saying? A lot of the slang she used, you could just tell. You know what I'm saying? But they need someone needs like to really show the DMV in their videos, like yeah. for real, for real. Not just Ben Chili Bow in the corner just rapping yeah. in front of one place. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to really, really show it because like yeah. when I'm in the Philippines, like these people, the only thing they have to do is stream and watch mm. music videos. Mm -hmm. That's all they're doing. Mm -hmm. So. Like, when they met my friends from America, they were like, oh, black people. Black people are gangsters. That's all they know because right. in the videos, that's all you're portraying. And they're like, oh, your friend speaks so proper. 
and all this other stuff. And it's just like, to be honest, we really just thought all black people were answer. So I'm just saying, like, you know, in your videos, try to show, just know that there's more than the people that you're trying to reach out to. Like, yeah. they want to see, like, there's millions of people that want to see where the capital of D.C. Like, you yes. can show, you can, in your video, go from showing the hood to the proper part, hood to the proper part, like, show what it really is. True, So people true. like, no. You know who so did a good said. job with that? Uh, J.I.D.K., he's another dope artist. He's, he's not from Largo, he's like, I think from around Bowie, but uh, a couple of his videos, if you check them out, he does a good job of showing off some of the different parts of Maryland and, and D.C., um, He's another young He's artist. Too. He should have made the cover. I, that's what a lot of people said, man. He definitely should have made the cover. But that's the thing. I don't know if they classified him as a freshman this year, though. You know. And then it depends on but how much But he released money, something. Too. You know, people pay to be in the magazine. Yeah. Like it'd be like a thousand. If you want to be in XXL, go uh, <laughs> go to their website and go to Industry the bottom. Tips. And it's like um, <laughs> for like half a page, it's like five hundred. You know what I'm I saying? I think that's how Blueface like got 1, on the cover. Uh, on the you know? cover. So Damn. Just, you know what I mean? If you if you, you want if you want it, buy it. Be like the white people. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, cause outside of that Tatiana man, he ain't, he ain't really impressed me. And that's not an impressive song. It's just you know catchy. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, before we roll, we got the. Uh, Oh, I just play my water back oh, okay. there. I was like, it, what you doing? It was <laughs> always just right there. I'll be trying to, yeah, you know what I mean? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, before we roll, though, uh, we got the BET Awards coming on tomorrow. I wanted to uh, always go over some birthday. of the. Come up, what, the BET Awards? It's always by my birthday. Out in All LA? My birthday. It's usually always like on 25th. You need to go out there then. You need to try to make a trip to go out there. Man. I mean, I can always go there, but it's like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll get out there. We'll yeah, get out it's, there. It's, it's not the, the time for me. Yet. Just doesn't work out. No, I got you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get y'all take on some of these nominees uh, in these categories and get some predictions from y'all. Uh, so I just just got uh, or write, wrote out the, uh, you know, the big categories so we ain't going to run through everything. But mm -hmm. um, So first off, real quick, album of the year, all right? We got Astro World from Travis Scott. We got Championships from Meek Mill. We got LMA with the self-entitled LMA. Uh, Everything is Love from the Carters and Invasion of Privacy from Cardi B. Astro World. Astro World is your pick. Mm -hmm. What about you, baby girl? Sheesh, dang! You said the album of the year. Yep. And one more time. I'm sorry. Quickly. Uh, Astro World <laughs> uh -huh. from Travis Scott. Yeah. Championships from Meek Mill. LMA. Everything is love from the Carters and the invasion of privacy joint from Cardi B. Ooh, it's between it's between it's it's Cardi. I, I think Cardi. It's will Cardi. Get that. Only reason because we're talking about if I look at it as an entire movement, like her movement is just like a fifty foot wave. And it's just <laughs> yeah. like seriously, Cardi, you were playing in the Philippines on a boat. That travels in between islands. Like I was like, go Cardi. Oh, that's big time. I was like, half these people don't even can't speak English. <laughs> but they, they know they know that damn like, Cardi B. All right, that's a go girl. So Tangie's going with Astro World. I'm gonna remember these. So when we come back next week, Cardi. you know, we can see how bad or good we did or whatever. <laughs> um. So okay, best new artist, real quick. We got Blueface, City Girls, Juice World, Lil Baby, Queen Naja. Tangie. Ooh. Best new artist. Yeah. Are they on the freshman album cover? <laughs> Blueface. For no, any of these? Just one. I just think. one. Blueface, yeah. So we got Blueface, City Girls, mm. Juice World, Lil Damn. Baby, Queen, Naja. Okay, since y'all struggling, I'm going to go with. Uh, Maybe City Girls? I'm going to go with City Girls. I think City Girls, they got a nice movement going. I don't even want to say I it. I think Lil, uh, what's the, what's <laughs> the Lil one? Lil Baby. You think Lil Baby? That's why I was like, Lil how Baby they had, had that's why year. I said how they but say. But wasn't he a freshman say, last year? Mm -mm. I don't remember. Like he went on tour with Travis Scott. Oh, he did. He did. He he came out, um, he had that song, the Drip Too Hard song. They've been playing that song on the radio for like the past, it's been like two years yeah. now. That, that's huh? true. That's true. No, it's only been a year. It's only been a year. time be moving too fast. It's so only who, been a year. Who y'all picking though? Who y'all picking? We got to make our picks. Who y'all picking? Uh, I say city girls, but it's I probably city, girls. city girls, and it and it blows me because they really it just recently um, popped off because of their video. 
that they I like that there. shit. They be on that train and shit. That, yeah, that's that's Miami the right visual. there. I like they that Miami They just put the, video, the visuals, because before the talk visuals, that nasty shit. Like, I like that. Because I have been listening to them for a minute. Like, I listened to Act Up or the little twerk jump. Like for a whole year before it even, the video came out, I was like, "They releasing it now?" I said, "Oh yeah, snap, we got we got to get out of here, y'all." Okay. See, we 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 wrapping up so good, man. I I, I appreciate y'all. I wanted to run through the, these other categories, but I'm looking at the time here. We got to roll. All um, right. But uh, I I like to thank our our guest host, Baby Girl, for coming through. I think it was an awesome show. Yeah. Um, make sure y'all keep. Yeah, we got fun with you too. Yes. We got two funny girls on here. Back see, to back. As you see, I'm showing the ladies love. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The last couple weeks, that's that's we just must been be what I'm about. We than the males that come on here. Oh, so look, so <laughs> let, let, let's let's ask you real quick. So you did the video with Crank Lucas, man. Lot oh of, yeah. Lot of vibes, a lot of chemistry. Shout out I to Crank Lucas. Lucas. Um, <laughs> how was that, real quick, before we get uh, out? It was so fun. I just told them. Um, I was sitting with them the other day. I was like, hey, we need to put that the B roll out, like the behind the scenes. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. That, like we were cracking each other up. Like we never really got to talk talk in person all the time. We were always in the same space, but we his sarcasm and my sarcasm, we were just royal yeah, rumbling. That's in what's there, up. Man. That's what's up. Good shit. Funny yeah, guy. shout out to Crank, man. Funny guy. He had like four different bitches come through. Like they was in rotation and everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One brought food, one brought the bottle. Yeah, I told him. Pimping. You. <laughs> all right, Pimp Juice. All right, Pimp Juice. But anyway, all right, we getting out of here, y'all. Y'all have a great you know weekend. Uh, we catch y'all next week, same time, same place, right here. WLVS Radio, you dig? Two words, we gone.